but we, we're here to talk about some video games. You've been you've been on for a minute, so I appreciate you just like yeah. you know, being being with us for like the duration of this event. Yeah, it's what I do. Sitting cast for long extended amounts yeah. of time. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm known for. All right, so we're going to be seeing spoilers going up against John, the Battle of the Johns. Uh, I feel like I have not seen these two plays in like a good minute, but spoilers has been traveling to so much stuff. Numbies just ended up SDing. Yeah, uh, really unfortunate. I think the last time they played was around the last time John Suarez. Oh, like one of the last two times he's been to yeah. Zeno. He doesn't come fairly often, but when he comes, he does do really good. And you see the work being done on numbers right now? Yeah, he's playing back, he's playing really patient, he's sitting there, goes for the dash grab, commits a little bit too much, but then Numbies wanted to go for it all with the up smash. I feel like that could have just been like, you know what, anything else. Maybe yeah. he also missed him, put it like a dash attack. It could could have been anything else, but unfortunately it was not. And that dash attack definitely is a killer move right now in this game, but mm -hmm. not gonna kill Yoshi as of yet. 47% also Yoshi being one of the heaviest characters in the game. Yeah, for sure. He has, he has so much survivability that you're like, damn, that didn't kill me. Uh, but yeah, now Numbi's at 122 on a second stock. Swaggers is looking for that kill. Floyd, yeah. neutral, back, he wants all of these hits right out. Yo, now, na name another aerial. I like, there? That'll uh, kill. It, it'll all kill. Has him at the ledge again, but he just has to respect him. This is where Numbi's drives the best, right? Yeah. Just gonna be backing off a little bit, gets deep leading out. It's called the number zone for a reason. Like, great back here. It's you a numby zone. The numby zone. Like, there's the Myra zone with like double purple Pikmin. Numby zone. <laughs> Straight to the ledge. Just the ledge. Just, <laughs> just the ledge. ledge. It's, not, it's not that even like particularly <laughs> elaborate. So it was once again just has like John off stage, stuck in a quoting. I'm surprised that the grab was able to like reach yeah. that distance. So, it, if you play at air on enough, you know that grab reaches. And it is so ridiculous. Um, Sun Sound yeah. is going to catch Smarge right there. But mm -hmm. I'm actually really glad that he's able to time it right now. Oh, wow. Such good reaction from us. Well, it's just being able to get that grab off. Has John stuck at the ledge once again. Oh, really didn't get the spike. Out. Yeah, didn't get the spike one. Got the sour spot hitting him up to the side. Oh, and now uh, Swagus is like adapting. His ledge trap is, his flow trap on Numbies is so good. He's alternating between sitting in shield and going through like a lot of preemptive floaters, which is able to call out like a lot of headers, which you can't, you don't necessarily always have the time to react to, right? Yeah. As I'm stuck at the ledge once again, Numbies did not hit shield. So, uh, you know, Swagus definitely did not take into account the timing. Okay, caught him. Mm. Yeah, numbers tend to like run on and off a lot and do like some of the same things really habitually and Suarez just caught on as you see like run off run back on run off run back on it's like yep I'm just gonna throw out a hitbox just in case he ended up jumping back on yeah and he was able to get the kill for it I feel like the biggest thing aside from like the SD from Suarez was like yo his ledge trapping flow trade on numbies is like solid he's either sitting in shield to be able to catch like you know a double jump up there from the ledge or something, and then he's also just alternating between that and a lot of preemptive forwards. Yeah. Because of how little lag those two options have, he has also enough time to be able to cover rolls uh, with an F smash as well because of like how laggy yeah. that can be. Or you, you might see down B's because he does like to do that. Yep. If you do roll. Haven't seen him yet, but uh, yeah. at some point. Well, if it does have the longest um, ledge roll in it's, the game. It's stupidly long. Yeah. She, she like probably is like half the stage and you're like, oh, all of a sudden you're behind me. Now once again, Swagus has Numbies in a bit of a nasty position. Maybe not taking into account his drift. Or maybe he wanted to do like a tug and up tilt. Either way, has him stuck at the ledge again. Now Numbies is adapting. No longer double jump up days. No longer, you know, going through header. Just going through a couple of get up attacks to be able to stuff out those uh, four days. Yeah. And it's crazy. Oh, one back to the ledge. Oh, like, it's crazy how you see Numbers now play more like on stage. Like... Like, earned the, Suarez earned the respect yep. of, like, numbers. Like, okay, I'll fight you. Yeah, now Numbies starting to get away with it a little bit more. Uh, has a pretty big lead for himself right now. Just about anything to kill. The question is, how can Suarez just beat him out here? How can he actually get him off stage? And Uppu is going to be able to do it. That Uppu, I think, from Suarez is, like, a bit of play decision making. Because yeah. Numbies was just, like, nowhere in a position to get hit by that. Yeah, and pro most likely an in misinput. I know Suarez was talking about, like, no oh, caught right there. But, Ooh. yeah, Suarez was called, talking about, like, how they were cold today. Definitely playing pretty warmed up right now, but uh, I'm just I'm just putting the John out there. Yeah. 
And I, I'm not talking about either one of these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, already an up tilt, up tilt for Guru. And Ogedi just has Johns off stage in such a nasty position. He doesn't have a double jump, so Swagus did end up actually saving him at that point. A yeah. uh, little bit of a misplay once again, but hey, you know what? Damage is damage. You had him off stage, you had him, uh, and you can still get this kill. Oh, maybe not just yet. Okay. Ooh. So try using up air with Yoshi to reposition himself, but mm -hmm. numbers was still able to catch him even with like the hurt box shifting. Yeah, I don't actually see numbers go through like a lot of. Uh, mid aerial sun salutations like that. But once again, another back who is going to be able to do it. Uh, Swaggy's with a really gentle lead right now, but you know what? Yoshi can definitely make up that damage. Uh, Numbies did not fully take advantage of the fact that Yoshi had no double jump, but you know what? He was still able to find the ledge trap and close out that stock, so yeah. back at completely even. Yeah. Crazy enough, I don't. There isn't a lot of Yoshis in the city wide side. Yeah. So it's only when Yoshi's Island comes out that they get the chance to like interact yeah only only when like yoshi island comes out to an event it's like oh wait a second i gotta go back we gotta play this matchup again yeah. numby's got track to lead in game one definitely playing it a little bit cleaner game number two here swaggers keeps on trying to cover it like a jump but there it is he's always in a position to cover ledge roll as a result it feels like john is like really smothered at the ledge yeah it's kind of crazy okay be reversing that long enough and now Numbies are just totally waiting for this for you right? Just sitting there waiting, saying, hey, we're going to hit this eventually. Yeah. But now the danger is, as the three cents climb, as you hang on the longu, you don't always have the, you know, the privilege of just being able to just get up attack. Uh, so now Numbies needs to be a little bit quicker on his toes. Oh! oh. Got caught. Got caught being greedy. Wow. Numbies like really made a quick like a bunch of adaptations in this game too. Yeah. It also felt like Suarez was super greedy more like after game one. Mm -hmm. This now one like a bit too much confidence happened. I love I love how he just like went for it again. Yeah. He was like, ah oh, damn it, the, the first one missed. Oh yeah, Devin was drawing something, wasn't he? He was he was up to something. Yeah, Devin. <laughs> oh that was it was that you drawing? Yeah, yeah, it was me drawing. <laughs> oh, I played sure. I did see you hand yeah. move. Oh, uh, magic. <laughs> we're really good ma magician. All right, we're running it back to small battlefield. So this is, this is another game, right? You, like, live and die by the ledge. Nobody has adapted his full chart a little bit. He's throwing in more get-up attacks to be able to call out those floaters. Uh, now Swaggers is struggling a little bit more, right? So the question is, what can he do to actually mix this up for himself? Setting in shield at roll distance and still able to cover neutral get-up. Swaggers' is spacing is immaculate. Yeah, no, it's really ridiculous. Because Yoshi's able to cover roll, neutral get-up, in that both from that distance. And not many other characters can do that. It has him out there, just able to air dodge back on Yoshi, having so much drift to be able to get there. And now just tries to go through something with an egg lay. Can't really punish that. John was in the middle of the uh, animation through like a different move. All right, fourth throw. Oh, I always forget, like you can't really cross up weep it like that. That it's really good that she doesn't have the best grab in the game. Because yep. if she, like, really did, then she would be busted. Because that back air is so powerful and comes out so quick. Yeah, for sure. Now Swaggers, once again, has John in the same position. Backed up a little bit too much. Not going to be in a position to get grabbed that time around. Sat there, you can't react to jumps, and John was just able to get back on. That was, like, one of the first times he did actually go for the jump from ledge. That drop down, double jump up, though, not really going to be covering or hitting anybody. And Swaggers with a quick and clean whiff punish on it. Yeah, down B. I told you it make a pair. It has him stuck on the platform here, and I like the egg lay idea, but, um... Yeah, a bit too slow on the reaction of it. Now, what would have been, like, really cool, had Swaggers just pressed egg lay, I think you still have enough time to be able to react to which direction they are. And yeah. Go, and put your beer reverse a little bit later. Yeah. It, it's a bit tight, because they could also just sit there, because it was yeah. a mistake. You so, see, like, Captain Falcons do that with up B all the time, right? Like, yeah. you see them press, like, up B, and then they, like, pick later which direction that they want to go. Uh, because you have a pretty generous window to be able to find that B levers. But now, Numbers needs to get off this platform. Swaggers has him, once again, in the corner at a nasty position. Oh. He's going out there. Yeah. Right.
spring hat. Huh? <laughs> yeah, John was kind of a lot of options. Like, I don't think there was anything that he could have done besides like roll in. No, so there wasn't a lot of options. Maybe like jump was probably be the best one in that situation because you won't get caught by the upbeat or the downbeat right there. Mm -hmm. and, but John, now you see playing more on stage, more ferocious. As I say that, like, just and then over. back to the ledge immediately. Yeah. He, you know, at the end of the day, he just goes back to his most comfortable space. Ledge is fun. I like the dash back, typically, I'm doing, but not gonna work out for spoilers. Now, John has him stuck at the ledge. Once again, charges up Sun Salutation. I don't know who he's trying to hit, but Swallows is definitely just like a different zip code yeah. uh, at that point. It's like, yo, I'm over here, man. Yeah. We should talk to. Alright. Another I header. Mm -hmm. I like how efficient John is being with his movement. He's dashing back, charging up Sun Salutation, guy. Right? Um, just making the most out of it and always putting himself in a position to actually with punish. Yeah. And also, I up a good amount from this, shooting the Sun Salutations and the deep breathing. I like that Swoyles is not committing to anything himself, right? Because it's like, hey, you know what? I'm 135. I got to stock up. If I overcommit a little bit too much, I'm, you know, I'll be giving up this uh, this lead that I've amassed through myself. And Numbies has not done a lot to uh, to take it back from him. There. Oh, okay. Good job just fading back. Yeah. And Suarez should... Okay. Oh. F tilt right there. But Suarez should basically try to respect the roll a bit more. Just only trying to look for the neutral get up right now. Yep. Oh, and Suarez is not getting lucky at all. He's not finding any of these spike hits. Uh, now Numbi is once again going to be stuck in the corner. He's stuck at the ledge. It's just come food space, but Suarez is ledge trapping against him. I feel like he's one of the few players I've seen actually open up Numbi's this much yeah. at the ledge. Yeah, and I think this is a good, like, note taken if you're like having trouble with numbers on like some things to do i know if like you don't play yoshi like it's a good idea you you might take some lessons just being so patient now and just immediately abusing that double jump over uh numbies you know oh. fit is not a kick that can match that kind of speed match that kind of drift spoilers needs to find a clean way to be able to land here though oh big up to go there up to a it works at that point. Yeah, so... Don't forget to exhale. It's like, you use the eye in. Yeah. He was definitely, like, anticipating a forward throw. That's, yeah. like, pretty typical. So, good little adjustment from Numbies there. Just able to optimize uh, and get the most out of that situation. Yeah. Oh, oh, just fell out. Yeah, I hit him with the edge of down B, so you can just kind of hold that on that and hopefully the best. Uh, over, tilt, not over commit. Yeah. All right, but next up to Will. Deep breathing. Yeah. Wow. And that was Swoyles' his game. That was. And if you look at the player cam, unfortunately, like, Suarez is kind of tight right now. He is an emotional player in and out, right? Because yeah. I feel like as soon as he gets, like, a little bit ticked off, as soon as, like, you know, something breaks his psyche, uh, he, all of his misinputs start coming out. You know, yeah. he's not hitting his B-reverse wave bounce egg lays, uh, and things kind of just fall apart from there. The big thing is, like, mentally fragile. This is such a dramatic music. Oh, my yeah. God. You're fighting numbers. <laughs> Three, two, one, These are some cool choices. I, I support the hell out of this. All right, so we're going to be going to get back to small battlefield. And immediately, that, what? Yeah. What was that situation that Nubby just put Swallows in? It's literally a tech. Like, if you miss the tech, you, you die. Plus the ball, the header covers all the other options. So it's a lose-lose. Oh, does not get the right hit of the uh, back here, either, but either way, still able to put it on a good amount of damage. You know, egg lane to down it. Just look at yep. looking through this jump in, and finally finds that egg lane. Has Numbi stuck in the corner, has him stuck off stage. I feel like this could be the edge guard, and then he doesn't hit the bigger yeah. And it sucks. Because this, like, small miss inputs is costing Suarez. Once again, just going to be sitting at the ledge. His flow chart is so solid. Numbies, every time he's neutral get up he is shielding immediately. I think what he can start doing is really testing the explosives uh, reactions. Yeah, and you see a roll, the net is numbers. Yep. The stock basically again. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a misplay from Swallows. He probably saw the startup of Roland and was like, ah, I think this is neutral get up. Yeah. It was not, but uh, you know what? He ended up dying for it. Now, once again, has Numbies off stage, and he has mixed himself enough to the point that Swallows is now getting hit by all the traditional stuff. You know, drop down, double jump, headers, yeah. uh, and it goes back on. And you on. see the frustration from Suarez. Yeah. This is not looking good. 
Oh, a little bit of awkward, a little bit of spaghetti, but you know what? He's able to double jump out there, hit him on the back, and again, he keeps drifting a little bit too far back, and he's not getting the right drag down. Yeah. No, John's John. This is a beautiful song. This is so, like, wow, this is yeah. such a dramatic I, I song. like the violin. Or the viola. Oh, as we say in French, the voila. Um, but yeah, now Swallows... Who's French here? Uh, not me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, I like what Swallows did there. I feel like he could have fully committed to the Florida, but you know what? I respect the food just double jumping back on. Now once again, he has him at the ledge. What's he gonna do here? Someone help him. Uh, and uh, yeah. he's a little bit too far back at that point. Yeah. His spacing was not as tight as it could yeah, have been. respected the roll there, but it was like already new to get up. Yeah. And now he's not trusting his reactions as much, right? Yeah. Because before he was hitting those neutral get up punishes consistently. Jab to dash back, pivot grab, trying to go through a little bit of Samus stuff, and Numbi just kind of ends up outbutting him through it. So, happens. It's a little, it's really loose, you know? It's just a poke. You have to be really confident in hitting something like that. Yeah. Oh, that, that was some confidence right there. Yeah. And just like that, Swallows is back in it. Oh, and there it is again, that situation. 68? Yeah, 68%. From a down throw on the small battlefield platform? That's messed up. That's OD? <laughs> oh, but Swallows, he's been hitting those, like, back hit and neutral up tilts all day. Already put, you know, matching as much uh, damage output as John himself had. <laughs> no. No shot. Let's get fired up. He wow. wanted his own spike. Oh, wow. He was like, ah, today you, I shall spike you. You think me. I'm in disadvantage? You're in disadvantage. <laughs> Man. That's how I imagine John Numbers laughs. <laughs> Have I heard him laugh? That's how he laughs. That's how I imagine it. <laughs> That's a John Numbers laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the snort? <laughs> That's me. That's my laugh. I know. That's my laugh. I'm like, you got that the snort? That is a Slavic cool. thing to do. That's pretty cool. Every, I, I, every single Slav laughs like that. Every single one? Yes. That's, I don't know. It's deeply ingrained in our culture to have a that's pretty crazy. Uh, laugh that's like a little... You got a snort when you laugh? Yes. That's, that's how I know when I tell a good joke. Dar yeah. just starts snorting at me. <laughs> yes. You, you told a good joke, Reggie. I'm very proud of you. You did amazing. He did it, guys. He did it, yeah. Num John Numbers also did it, now advancing to Winter's Finals. Yeah. Uh, we've seen him here many, many times. This That interaction is always so funny. Uh, that means Swellies is going to be dropping off to loser's bracket, but yeah. I believe he's going to be fighting the one and only Dark Blues. Oh, man, that's kind of scary. And guess what? Who's in Winter's Finals? Who's in Winter's Finals? John Numbers and Dill. Ooh. Yep. You, you actually, Dill hasn't been doing up to par.